The Yeezy AirPods. If you are anywhere on the internet, you've probably heard of them. Kanye West is famously selling these for $20. Of course, if you're in Canada, it's $28. Plus an additional $28 in shipping. So that comes up to $56. But is it worth it? Let's find out. The packaging definitely reflects $28 Canadian in value because they did not even bother to put this in the box. We've all heard that it takes forever for these to come in and no one was lying. I ordered this March 29th. It came in May 1st, so a bit over a month. Okay, so when you open up the DHL package, it comes in a little sack number one on it. Okay, these are what they look like. They feel like they might roll down when you put them on, but we'll see. And then it has two of these soles at the bottom. And then in between the soles, it's like a thicker fabric. I am usually a size 8. So the size guide says size 1 is 6 to 8.5 US size. So I ordered size 1, hence why the packaging or the sack has 1 on it. It looks pretty good. We can see some of the glue, but nothing crazy. And I know it's cheaper, so you know how that usually goes. You can see that right here. Let's try it on and see what it feels like. It's pretty big. Okay, that is so comfortable. And it's easy to put on because I'm wearing tights and I was kind of scared that as I was putting it on, it was gonna make my tights roll up, but it's not really doing that as much as I thought it would. Oh, okay, first impressions with it on, there is a lot of toe room. As you can see, as it gets closer to the toes, it's very wide, so you don't have to worry about your toes being scrunched up. That looks crazy. <laughs> It feels very comfortable. It feels like I can do a lot of things with it. I'm wondering how it'll feel like if I was walking outside. The first impressions walking with it, it is extremely comfortable. I think it looks kind of silly. I'm not really a fan of the look. I got it mainly to work out in the gym, especially for deadlifting and weight training. Flatter shoes are better, so that's the main reason I got this. However, I can't see myself walking around with it in everyday life just because it, it looks kind of silly. But this is still my first day wearing these shoes, and I'm noticing some more tears. If you look right here and right here. Something that is noteworthy is it's fantastic for stretching. It's very flexible, so it feels like you have nothing on your feet. But that can also be an issue because if you're in a gym and a weight was to drop on your feet, that could really hurt. <laughs> so you have to be really careful. What I really want to try to do with this is do a deadlift. I always heard that these flat shoes are best for deadlifting. Let's try it out. This is great for working out. Just from two exercises I've done so far, it has been amazing because it has enough grip at the bottom. You used to feel like you're wearing shoes, but it has the flexibility you need to be able to do exercises without feeling like you're constrained by bulky shoes. So as you saw in the gym, this is what it looks like on just a different outfit, black on black. It is quite comfortable. It is tight. But I noticed as my day went on, this starts to roll down, but not horribly. To be fair, if you wanted to wear it low, you could. You can just push it down. So this is another way to wear it low like this. I want to show you what it looks like when you're wearing shorts or a skirt. I don't really have shorts with me, so I'm going to put on a dress and you'll get the idea of what it looks like when your legs are fully out. Obviously, you wouldn't wear it with something like this. I think it looks more flattering when you're wearing shorts or something that isn't covering your legs. Let's look at the pros and cons of these shoes. The pros are it's great for weightlifting. If you're into weightlifting, exercising, flexibility, it's really flexible and it's flat, which is fantastic for weightlifting and doing a bunch of stuff you have to do at the gym. It is also versatile. You can wear it down to your ankle. You can wear it up to like around your knee area. It is cheap. <laughs> it's very cheap. It's actually really comfortable. So I'll have to give it comfort as well. And it's great for walking outside, not for long distances for me, but you can walk outside with it. And the last pro is that it's unique. It's a unique shoe and I appreciate unique designs. Like you know, which is a con, I'm not into the aesthetics of the shoe. It's, it's unique looking, but it's not 
a good looking shoe to me, but I'm not getting it for looks. I'm getting it for practicality and using it for the gym. So I don't mind that part too much. Another con is that it does roll down a bit for me. So as the day progresses, I do notice that it starts rolling down a little bit, which is expected. For me, this type of shoe is a bit too wide. So if it was slightly more snug to my feet, I would prefer it. Unfortunately, it is not. I'm on the larger end of a size one, which you would think will make it more snug on my feet but it's pretty big. And I think it's because I have skinnier feet. That is my review of the Yeezys. I am not a gym head. I am not a sneaker head or a shoe head or anything like that. So I give a very casual review. So keep that in mind. Would I recommend it to people? I would recommend it to people who wanna use it for the gym or who know how to style unique looking items and make it look good because I don't think it looks good. <laughs> but with that being said, I hope this video was helpful and let me know, would you get the Yeezys or do you have the Yeezys and what do you think about them? If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.